नमस्ते बिटिया हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल माई सेल्फ जे वी एन डॉक्टर रवि जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन एट फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक साइंस इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हिस्ट्री टेकिंग वेन एवर a patient is coming to you in the hospital in the opd or the ipd how will you take the history the presenting history of the patient especially in relation to the gi or the gastrointestinal system present history while taking the present history the following points have to be noted down in a patient with gastrointestinal or the hepatobiliary disease you should always ask about the addiction to alcoholism or smoking that is you have to confirm if the patient is taking any kind of alcohol or that particular patient is a smoker whether a chain smoker or a regular smoker because these things are directly affecting the gi system in some way or the other then next you have to ask about the medication in any kind of medication the particular patient is taking you have to enquire about those medications from the patient during the present history taking the medications like non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs oral contraceptives laxatives steroids and immunosuppressive drugs you should also ask if that particular patient is having any other disease like arthritis it can be peripheral or it can be ankylosing spondylitis because these diseases are associated with inflammatory bowel disease in the present history you should ask about the eye symptoms for the symptoms of conjunctivitis that is red eye watering of the eyes uveitis or iritis blurring of the vision episcleritis example ocular pain you should ask about photophobia blurred vision headache must be noted down the skin manifestations have to be asked for like erythema nodosum and pyoderma gangrenosa these are common in inflammatory bowel disease especially in ulcerative colitis and the crohn's disease these diseases present with various kind of skin manifestations <clears throat> you should also enquire about the psychiatric symptoms due to the presence of the presenting complaint of gi system the psychiatric symptoms that includes the anxiety anxiety due to this disease the apprehension and any kind of depression may be the symptoms associated with the functional bowel dis- disorders the stress is related to the peptic ulcer and functional disorders of the intestine you should also enquire about the history of expulsion of worms the patient may complain of it or even may bring the worm round worm to the clinic for inspection so these things you should ask in the presenting history of the patient with gi disorder now in the next lecture these are the additional features that should be asked other than the common symptoms with which the patient is coming to you during the case taking you should always ask the complaints in the chronological order of their appearance how the complaints are appearing starting from the first complaint to the complaints that are appearing subsequently also you should complete all the symptoms in terms of location sensation modalities 
and concomitants in order to make a complete symptom for proper case taking diagnosis and for reaching to a particular diagnosis condition. In the next lecture, we will be discussing about the points to be taken while history taking. Also, we will be discussing about the past history, the questions to be asked during the past history of the patient. So, this session is powered by Digital Version 2.0, Jyoti Vidya Peet Women's University. I hope you are satisfied with my digital session. If you have any query, please mention in the comment box and I will try to resolve it. So this was all for today. Thank you very much. We will be meeting in the next lecture tomorrow. Thank you.